This is a new segment called Pucks and Popcorn. Uh, of course. Don't mind course. if I do. Thanks, Brother uh, Each. Yeah. And we're going to have the boys break uh, down sure. a couple of hockey movies for of course. us. Uh, that we have classics. right here. That we have right here airing on the NHL Network. We'll start with an all-time classic, The Mighty Ducks. Yeah, you know, this is awesome for me because I, I hadn't seen this movie since it was in the theaters probably a long time ago. And Friday night we had it on. There was no NHL games. And I'm watching it with my son and I'm taking note of I mean, this peewee hockey was very violent in this film. I mean, this was a nasty, nasty kind of game. Look at hit from behind. The kid gets driven into the into the net. The coach doesn't care. He just wants the goal. He doesn't care. The kid had to be stretchered off. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Banksy. Banksy. Stretchered off, Weeksy. And like on the bench, kids got their helmets off. This is a very dangerous move here. I can see Jackie trying this hey, in a big game. I can spin. There you go. go. Right? There yeah. you go. Look at that. And then another cheap, vicious cheap shot. That's yeah, what you get for celebrating. By. A little skate by. Now, I will say this. This flying V is a tactic that we do use at the Brick Hockey Club. So, uh, you know, very effectively. And again, here's a penalty shot we see, right? No helmet. No. And no the helmet. glasses, too. I love all, but, but Charlie Free is flow. good. Free flow. How about that top shelf? It though? looked like he put it in low. And then all of a sudden, the second shot, it was upstairs. But we're happy for Charlie. Of course we Gordon are. Gordon Bombay coming out to celebrate. Yep. Yeah, you didn't do sweet anything. Sweet jacket, though. Taking the credit. Very sweet jacket. Sweet old Very school sweet jacket, jacket, though. I'm but, feeling that. But well, it's coming up again October 24th right here on the NHL Network. Yes, Check you can it see it right yeah. here. And you're talking about it. It looked like it was going low, and then it was top I know. shelf. It's, it's very strange. Deceptive release. Deceptive release. Very, very, very awesome, release. Matthews. Hey, I'm awesome, awesome, Matthews. Hey, yeah. I pay attention when you guys are on the network. Okay. Okay, so that's flick number one. Flick number two on this double dip, this double header at the NHL Now drive-in, I guess we're going to call it. Uh, Young Blood for hey. K-Dub. I'm going to give you the, you need the popcorn. I like definitely you, right? do. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Oh. Thank you. Before we even roll this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every arena in Youngblood, we grew up playing youth hockey in, in Toronto. It was shot all across oh, Toronto. Really? So you know those buildings. I know those rinks. Yeah. Ted Reeve Arena, Lakeshore Arena. I know okay. them just like they were yesterday. I okay. can see them in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. But also, some longtime NHLers, were in those was in that movie yeah. as well, I should say. Yeah, the late Peter Zezel. Late Peter Zezel, who I played Stumpy with. Stumpy Thomas was in it. Stumpy right? Thomas was in it. My good friend Randy Walker, mm -hmm. who was Rob Lowe's body double, ah, by the way. Nice. Hey, Rob, you Lowe. Mean Rob Lowe didn't do all that skating. No, that was Randy. That was my man. Let's walks. take a look here. So let's take a look. This I love this scene because he was getting knocked around. Yeah. Dean Youngblood, star of the movie, aka Rob Lowe, and he's with his brother. He had to go back home to the farm. He was playing junior hockey, yeah. playing against men. He had to toughen up. Oh, yeah. He had to grit up. He had to muscle up. You know what I mean? Each yeah. couple of push-ups, you're ready to go. Absolutely. Then he was working on his game, yep. individual skill development. Yep. And now he rejoins the team. And that's oh, Carl no, Mackey. no, he no. Like Jeff Rogers there, by the way. Yes, the 37-year-old junior player. Carl <laughs> yeah, Mackey. exactly. Always available. Absolutely. You see his tooth gets knocked out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. Look at the rival GM. Yeah. Getting walked down. The bowels of the arena comes back out. And then he's able to execute this beautiful move. Penalty shot on the penalty shot. No shock. time on the clock, of course. No time left on the clock. And right under the bar. And you love those Cooper pads and gloves. Oh, and that yeah. Is the old Sweet days. Masks in this movie, by the way. Yeah, the old days right there. How about this shot? Take a look at Rob Lowe, though. Now, look. Yeah. 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 Amazing movie. I grew up watching this, and this really kind of typified what the experience was playing junior hockey. So for a lot of us guys that were 8, 9, 10 years old at the time when it came out, we were looking at these guys like they were heroes. We're like, yes. oh my God, Randy Walker's in that movie. Yes. Peter Zezel, late Peter Zezel's yeah. in that movie. Steve you know who Thomas. else is in that movie? Joe Bowen. Also no, no way. Yeah. I don't know how I know that because I've never actually seen Young Blood. But we got, we got secret sources here at NHL. Who sent now. you the text? And for a lot of you LG. in the hockey world, no, really? Yeah. LG. A lot of you in the Lawrence. hockey world, Mashers in that one as well. The Mashers in there. So that's for and a lot Eric, of older hockey And folks. Eric Nestorenko, who played for the Blackhawks for yes. many years, he plays Dean Youngblood's father. He's what? a former NHL player. What? He plays his father, and I thought he was very good in it. So, uh, Interesting movie. And you learn a lot about the billeting situation. Of course, it's the billeting situation in, of uh, for these junior players was no interesting. Doubt. You learn a little bit some about that as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And well, making thirty-five dollars a week. Yes, yeah, of course. Well, I've never seen Young Blood, but if you're like me and so you haven't sad. seen it, you can yes, see it sad. Wednesday, November seventh, eight o'clock, right here on NHL Network.